hope you're doing well. Um, today is my birthday, but I celebrated my birthday on my birthday trip yesterday and the other day. I just got back home and I have here what I've got for my birthday. And I will insert a clip also of the things that I did on my birthday trip. That was in Venice and it was very, very beautiful. I broke my feet because we walk a lot. I did uh, almost a 30,000 steps there in one day. And then <laughs> the other day is another, another steps. Um, I, I think we, we walk like a marathon <laughs> when we were there and we are already too old for that. So it's okay. But I enjoyed it a lot and I visited um, the museum and I've seen the um, event of Marco Polo. It was nice, but I couldn't take a picture, even one there inside the museum. So I just watched. It was interesting the, the currency, the money. The coins that they have, they are, they are really gold coins and silver and bronze. They are true from the, um, from the 18th, 18th century. It was nice how they placed the coins there where Marco Polo used in that, on the time when he was still living. And also the, the coins that was used uh, in the... Jing Wan, Jing Wan, uh, in the Asia, in the Chinese Chinese um, currency and the Mongolian currencies too. It was very nice, and there is uh, also um, piezometer. They, I don't know how to say that. Uh, the thing that they they weigh down their coins to pay. It was very nice, and also I've seen the the old books and the old. Uh, testament that Marco Polo did when he died and I see also the the face the photo it was very small and there was a big uh, how to say that a big um, it's like a sculpture a head that it said it was him it was nice also and and I seen one thing that was what that was really his his property was a uh, uh, a jar where he drink it was with okiello it's, they called it broca so he he has that it was very nice it was white a ceramic very nice i like it and all the rest were from other museums that they collected and put all together in that museum in palazzo ducale is a dodge palace so i've seen also everything the things, the, the thing that they displayed in the Dodge Palace, it was very nice. There are the paintings, of course, the things that they were in Armeria, how to say that, the weapons that they used in the old, old century when they used to battle, it was nice. And the things that they used, the ceramic that they used for the drinking, water, drinking wine, uh, for the plates they used, the the how to say that the pan the pan they used to cook it was very nice and of course um i've seen also uh, the sculptures the stones that they carve it's very nice and there are a lot of things from the asia the sp especially the shakyamuni buddha the um, the stat statues of little buddhas it's very nice there was buddha bodhisattva shakyamuni and also the goddess, the god Shiva from India, and the Piritvati, the goddess Piritvati. And also there was um, a lot of things, ah, especially the god, the, the Buddhas. There are a lot of Buddhas there. There was Budai also, a lot of things. Budai it was just um, a small statue statue of Budai and Bodhisattva and Shakyamuni. Shakyamuni is Siddhartha Gautama and a lot of uh, things from the India and a lot of things also from Tibet, uh, the Buddhas, it was from there and also um, uh, how to say that, a tapestry, there was a tapestry and a lot of things, the shells also, when he collected the shells, 
uh, on on his journey from Asia till the, that was still in the Philippines. I think he traveled also there in Persia, Armenia, um, India, Mongolia, and a lot of things Marco Polo collected. I think it's not he was not collected that it was just a, a, a referral of his journey on that age in the 18th century 37 so it was very very nice i loved it and if i could put a clip i would but there was not because i didn't have uh, a permission to do that we don't have to, to we don't have to take pictures or videos but on the museum uh, there was a lot of uh, things so i will insert a clip of that while talking uh, i mean a clip a little clip, yeah, a little clip while, while I'm talking here. So you can see the trip. And of course, now I'll show you what I got for my birthday. On the trip, we stayed in the hotel in Venice. It was near the luxury area. So it was called Hotel Kitty. So they gave us this champagne. I brought it home because I, we, I wasn't able to drink it there. So I brought the bottle home. The bottle is called Montelvini Prosecco. This is the, the thing that they gave us. And it's very nice. I treasured it. And then I traveled from there walking. I saw Sephora. So I, I bought also Sephora. So here I've got this little thing. Well, the proceeds. I got these. <laughs> the bottle of Giorgio Armani My Way. The first one they released. The one classical. I think it's not too florally. The one they have now is florally. And then they give us. They give us this also. I bought also not just that. I bought. Well they gave us this. To try. A little. Little samples. And this one is Givenchy. A sample. So you don't have to see that. And also this Giorgio Armani. And then I bought also this one. YSL. YSL Love Shine. In the shade 209. So let's see if this is the one that I really wanted. Because I didn't open it. I didn't know. Ah yeah. This is the one. It's like a pinkish nude. Let's try it. It's like a pinkish nude very beautiful let's see how it opens. oh it opens like that it's like that a pinkish nude thing like that let's see it's like that very subtle i like this i don't have this shade i wanted this shade too to try this is the one so subtle i like that and that's that so you can use this on day by day also, just at home if you want. You can wear this because it's so subtle and it's not so red. It's like a pinkish one. So that's that. And also the Sephora team not just gave me samples, they gave me also this. It's like a bag. A Sephora bag. Let's open what's this. I didn't know what's this yet. So they open this one. They open. They give us this one. So it's it's like a shopping bag. Oh wow, a shopping bag. Very nice, discreet. There's nothing here. Oh, it's just named Sephora bag. It's a shopping bag. I can use this on shopping when I go shopping. It's very big, very pretty. I love it. Thank you, Sephora. That's what they gave us. And then, of course, we have to open this one. The My Way. It's called Eau de Parfum. My Way. I don't know the notes of this. Let's see. I think I don't know yet. Let me let me read. <laughs> let let's open this yet. But it's very nice. The scent I love it. I've got the blue one on this. 
but I don't like much. But this one, I really love the most. This one. This one is so pretty. So here we go. Oh, yay! <laughs> this one. So pretty. Let's smell it. Mmm, I like this. It's like a... It's like citrusy, not so much flowery, and not so much uh, woody. But it's very nice, the scent, subtle, and kind of strong, but subtle. I like that. This is the one. So pretty. I love this. I will use this, of course, so much. And then they gave us this one, too. Afolar, let's say, is from Georgia Vani. Let's open it. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. Wow, so pretty. Oh, my God. I didn't know that this is so pretty. Wow. I says a sea perfume to love. So, you can use this like that. Or you can use it with your hair. I don't know how you do it like that. No, you can't. So it's just like this. On your on your neck. You can do like that. Ah, oh, I like it. It's like that. The full art. It's like a, a scarf. Very pretty. You see? I love this. Okay. That's that. That's what they gave us put up them and of course before the trip this is for my birthday i i bought myself a hat it's from ruslan bajinski this is the hat that i bought it's pretty i have already this and the blue ones so i like it the i like the material the material is like a, a cotton and it's made from ukraine is ruslan bajinski hat ukraine it is made from there and is R and B here. I think this is a metal here, metal. And this is a piercing kind of metal also, also this. It's a hundred percent cotton and it's very pretty. You see that how pretty it is. So I wear this on my trip in Venice all day long and all the, the time that I was there. I just bought this hat because I really love it. But then, since the, uh, the how to say that, the, um, the season's changing, so we will go to summer soon. I bought also a hat. This one is the hat that I bought. And it's, it's like a, it's called Venezia, you see. Venezia. I also bought a lot of, uh, how to say, masks. But I didn't, I didn't, I didn't bring it here. But there's a lot of masks. I will insert a clip of a photo that I, I bought everything that I bought. I will show you also the mask. I bought, I think, six or seven. I don't remember. The mask, you know, that thing, that Venetian mask for the carnival. I have that. Also, this is the hat. So pretty. You can wear it like that. On the summer heat. And it covers your head and at least your um, face and the thing that surrounds your eyes in your face. It's like that. I love this. And with the embroidery here, a flower. It's so pretty. And with a bow here on the back. You wear this on the back. And this is so pretty. I bought that. And then, of course... I bought also this and these are the books I have bought four one two three four okay I don't talk too much about this because I didn't still read it I was I was uh, I will just show you the name it's from George Perrick La Vita Listazione Peruso it's like a a general uh, guidance how to live they they say how to live 
but it's in Italiano. I like to read the book in Italiano. So this one is just how we should live, they said, from George Perrick. And then the second is this. It's from Kim's, Kim Stanley Robinson. It's called Il Ministero per il Futuro. It's like a, a future, futuristic book that talks about the future, how we should do. And we will we will read it also. I like to read when I'm in vacation because I have nothing to do. So this just occupies my time. And also this, I bought this. And it's called, it's from John Kalman Stefansson. And it's like, La Tua Sensei Tanab. It's like your... Your absence is uh, is a nightmare. Your absence is a nightmare in it in English. But it's like I think this is a very nice book, and it's like a dramatic one. I like also that. And this one is Ugly Love by Colleen Hoover. Colleen Hoover. It's a best-selling book, so it's like an ugly love. So it's like talking about people, about love, like that. <laughs> I like to, to read also that. So these are the four books <laughs> I was going to read. And then, of course, I bought also a lot of stupid things. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a sunglasses collector. These are just not luxury. These are just uh, sunglasses for to wear everyday wear it's like a ray-ban kind of glasses let's try it on i didn't like it much but i like to wear this sometimes when i want to switch over or when the when the other glasses are dirty and i like to switch over i like i like that i got these and this is the other one too it's like that i like that so pretty like that and then of course I bought these these ones and it's all black and it's like that I like this one better this better is my frame my frame I mean the face frame it's so pretty I bought also this and then of course I bought another one and this is the one. This one suits me better. And this one is so pretty. Okay. I got these. So I love these glasses. Got I got four glasses. And I've got uh, and I've got a lot of jewelry. And I don't want I, I don't want to to share all of them because there are too many. So probably when I have time I will show you the jewelry. I have a lot of jewelries. So it's better put a shorter video on that. Maybe a small clip. Just try to picture one by one so you can see them. Without putting a lot of talk about it. Because they are very pretty jewelry. And very precious. I don't want to put a lot of thing, A lot of story about jewelry. Because it's, it's kind of personal how you like it. So I I think that's that. And of course, these are my stackings of the jewelry I have. And of course, here too. And I didn't put earrings because I just took it off. I didn't want to put earrings today, so I just put that the the the, the bracelets. I don't took take off my bracelet. I should I should have to take them off because sometimes they get broken. When you sleep, I don't know, you push your arms here and there and you might you might get it stuck and then it will break. I lose already a lot of earrings too because I wear it on bed. Or sometimes I don't lock it well and I took it off and it just fell off like that. And I lose already two times to earrings and they are very, you know, earrings, they are costful and... Of course, I feel sad when I lose some, but it's okay. I already, <laughs> I already got another <laughs> to replace them. So just that. Okay, just that. And so I'm sure you've already seen the clips that we, we have on on the the trip that we have had at Venice. So you've seen that. What we eat, what we did. Just a small clip. 
so you can see what we did there and there was a pope also the pope was there having uh, a mass for everyone it was closed the san marco square we couldn't get in because we don't have the pass because you have to have a pass to enter so they close it there are a lot of guards there that they can't they can't let you enter if you don't have a pass so we just passed by there but we couldn't we couldn't get in so we passed by there and what i did i went to mcdonald's and eat a hamburger yeah that that's so funny and then and then i broke my leg i mean my leg how to say that the yeah yeah the leg it was too too much walking i broke it and then also my husband broke him <laughs> broke his <laughs> so it was so funny <laughs> we couldn't get it but it was lucky because we have the the hotel in the smart saint marco square so it was easier for us to get to get back in and rest so that was nice it was a very nice hotel i recommend that hotel for you to get in it was very pretty and of course there are luxury houses there so easy for you to if you want to shop you can shop there very easily i think that's that that's it <laughs> and see you soon guys take care please subscribe if you haven't yet and like this video or comment down below what you have in mind to say something or to ask something about it so we can talk about it all right see you soon take care bye bye